so dope, dude. Like this is this is one of the craziest pieces. All this candy, a lot of it. This was from my lady for Valentine's Day. All right, yo, what's up? It was a bit messy, so I had to clean a bit, and now it's much better. So today I have been working on my music. I figured out that, or decided rather, that I'm going to do the tutorial things in the vlog style idea that I was talking about in the last video. So basically I'm just gonna like vlog and I'm gonna draw in this vlog. I'm gonna show you how I create a character from scratch. I'm gonna show you how, if I don't know what I wanna make, I reference and I go online and I find like a pose, try different poses out in little like thumbnail stick figure dudes. And then I decide which pose I like and I basically create a character from that pose. But first, since we're already here and this is open, I'm going to show you a little update of my music because all of the reverb is done. I double checked it this morning and everything sounds good, which means like I know I said I could move on in the last video to the next step and I knew that still, but I wanted to double check everything. And it all sounds really, excuse me, all sounds really great. So I will give you a little sample, something very small. So this song is called Adam's Apple. I don't know if I've showed you guys this one or not. I know I've shared it on Instagram a little bit. I feel like my favorite one is probably this one. So we'll go with this. I'll give you a little like half of the chorus and then you can hear the verse and that's the end of that. Illusion that we live in so complex but simple Complicated and also straightforward like Kindles Secrets are revealed from the tablets inside the astral Gifted to me from intuition like Adam's apple Whoa. As you can see I really just go All these words of wisdom floating in my mind like a boat All these manuscripts of deeper intelligence that I speak Flowing through my spirit as if I'm water inside a moat I just coast Let it come to me, it's natural as life Get in my zone Every day I'm reaching the peaks of height Even more dope I trust in the universe to guide me That's why I'm running out of fear, evil could never find me I'm glowing, it's effortless how I'm shining Higher vibrations as I open my palms rising Altitudes I'm reaching, I levitate over skies Wings on me, invisible like angels within society Fly with me, enter dimensions above the earth plane One day, maybe you will understand my wordplay Meditate on it and ponder until you get it as you elevate Accessing new levels with each new day So that's a little tiny bit of that uh, It's sounding pretty dope, I like it, I'm excited Anyways, that's cool. Moving forward. Today's great. How's your day? I hope it's good. Let's hang out. Let's draw some shit. Let's get into it. I'm going to pull out the papers and I um I just looked around briefly before I started recording. I don't know if I have a pencil, so I'm going to have to dig through some shit. To see if I can find one. I think if I do have one, it'll be in the red box up there. So let us find out. I really don't have a pencil. Oh no! God damn. Okay. I don't know what I'm gonna do now, man. I don't. I genuinely don't have a pencil. Um. Fuck. Is it running around the house? Is it running around somewhere? I don't know, man. Ah! This is really fucked. Like, how am I an artist? I don't have a goddamn pencil. So pencil here. Oh, genuinely, there's my pencil. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's amazing. Thank goodness. I think this is mine. I'm gonna take this wrapping off. I'm gonna sharpen it. Don't judge me. I have a sharpener, but it's literally in the box that I just put back up on the top. Sorry, I'm not trying to get that back down right now. So, you know what? I have a better knife for this. Better knife for it. Let's try this again with the better knife. A better knife. A butter knife? No, not a butter knife. A better knife. Better knife! Come through to our store to get our new knives. They are better. That shall do. It's ugly, but it'll work. Oh, let's turn the light off. There we go. Decent. Okay, sick. We got our paper. This is weird because I haven't done this in so long. And I also haven't done it in a vlog. Usually I don't talk. And I also actually, I usually don't present the sketch or how I come up with the sketch. So that's a little bit different to me. But that's okay. I'm gonna move these papers. 
I gotta get you set up with your view. It should be a reasonable setup, I can assume. Let's see. That's far out. That's far in. How much further can I go? Okay. Good. We're good to go. I just gotta close these things and then I'm gonna open up Google. So when I'm creating a piece and I don't know what I wanna do, a lot of people will reference different ideas for styles or like clothing or just like feelings like a, like let's say like a grungy person or a rocky person or like a hip hop style thing or maybe animals if they want to do an animal character or an animal itself. I'm obviously a person who does characters for the most part. When I think about doing something, I usually think about making a person. Most of the time I do guys. I prefer doing guy characters. That's just one of my preferences. And when I don't know what to do, I don't necessarily go and look for vibes like clothing wise, but I do look for poses. So for myself, poses are the most important thing to get my mind running because I usually know what style of a character I want. I mean, I add like rings or jewelry or baggy pants or tight or like those types of things. Like when it comes to clothing styles and everything, I have a general preference on what I usually make and that's pretty easy. I can come up with that pretty well. But when it comes to poses, I don't have the best creative mind and I guess you could say bone structure skills to put that together without having a reference. So what I do is I go on Google, draw those poses um, as, as stick figures in small little images in like the corner of the sheet and then decide which one I like the best and use it. A lot of artists will do three or four different poses and they'll do three or four different designs per pose or a couple of poses and then pick a pose and then do three or four different designs for that pose that they've chosen. Me, I usually, I'll stick figure out a few. I'll pick the one I like the best and I'll just go straight into it and I'll do one pose and then I'll try and come up with a character literally with that one pose and usually for me I don't do three different characters in a row in like similar but slightly different styles with different let's say clothing or attributes. I usually just stick with one character and if I don't like something on that character as I'm going along I'm already drawing lightly so I just erase it and I fix it and I change it and then I go again whatever until I get something I like. Some people like to do three different ones, pick one they like the best, certain attributes from each of them and then combine all of the best things into one new character. I, it's just not something I enjoy doing. As soon as I see a pose and I draw it out I kind of know and I have an idea of what I want to do and usually I'm pretty happy with it. Having said that, let's go Let's go get started. Okay, so we have our paper. I have my ideas over there. I'm gonna zoom this in for you guys. Cool, so we have the kick, we have the, whatever that is, the power up pose and we have the cross arm pose. I actually already decided before I even drew these that I wanted to do something like this. I really like this pose. It can be something really cool. And I think that this would make for a good piece of art on a canvas, just generally. Kind of changed my mind. I think I want to add another one similar to this. So I'm going to do that really quick just to add because I would like to potentially do this one as well. So that's not the one. Ha! <laughs> Sometimes you do that too. You just say, fuck it. So I'm going to go back to this one. This is my plan. We're going to stick to that. That's the one. All right, moving on. I'm just gonna talk about a couple of things real briefly. When you're coming up with a character, for me and for a lot of people who are like really trying to come up with a good concept, you have questions you kind of want to ask yourself. And sometimes you don't even know what the questions are because you're not experienced yet, but the questions can range from like, how do I want him to look or her? How do I want the character to feel? What kind of emotion am I trying to create with this picture? And that will obviously factor into the pose you're choosing as well. Do they have a lot of energy or are they kind of older? Are they young? Do they have muscles? Are they thin? What kind of hat or no hat? Like there's all these different things you have available basically at your disposal to create something very original and new. And it's simple to create a whole original character that's not the same as any other because there's just so many options. So you kind of, if you don't know what you're going for and you're kind of new and you're starting off, you wanna think about that stuff, you know what I mean? And explore the options and try different things just because that makes sense to do and you end up learning more and your mind will expand in its creative abilities and you just kind of have more ideas sitting in the back of your head the more you practice this stuff. Anyway, we'll move forward now, but those are types of things that you wanna think about when you're, when you're coming up with the drawing. All right, so we have our pose. Now it's time to draw that same thing, but in a larger scale. I'm gonna start off with like, a, like an actual stick figure, and then I'm gonna thicken it with bones. And I guess when I get to the bones part, I will talk a bit just to explain that. Let's go.
Okay, so that's the general shape. It might not be perfect as I draw it, but it can always be adjusted as you go along. When you do this, you have your stick figure and you wanna kinda start to give him more form. You wanna give him bones. When it comes to this stuff, I'm not a major pro by any means. I actually haven't been doing this forever. I really avoided doing this type of thing for the longest time, but anyway, it doesn't matter. So you wanna give it some bones. You just start off thin, there's his little neck. Got his actual shoulders here and then his arm. And literally like this is just bones. You don't want to go crazy. You want to give them their joints. The hand is kind of curved like in a way. I'm looking at the, the actual reference, which you sometimes would like to keep open. It's very useful. So his hand's kind of like this, bit of an angle there. And then the fist kind of comes like this a little bit, something like that. And the thumb is back here. So let's just leave that like that for now. Other arm is hidden here. We know that but we have this fist here. So we'll give him the bone there. And this fist is a little bit more regular, but also kind of curved. And there's that fist there for now. And the leg is crunched and it has a bit of a hip there. So you curve it. And for the leg, you can start off really thin if you like, like this. But there's also the option of going a bit thicker to get that shaping down better, which I usually will do, but I'm gonna do this this way just for now. To give you the example. So there's kind of the bone for the foot. Here, instead of connecting up here, because I already have this situation, I know it's gonna curve a bit like this because he's wearing jeans. So I kind of take advantage of that ability and just go like that. It's just different things. I don't always do that. It's, it's different in every case. I do give a bit of definition with the bones by trying to make them 3D. And I'll give an example of that right here. When you have a cylinder and it's a straight cylinder, you know, it's, it's the same everywhere. But if you take that cylinder, this can become an arm if you add more things. So let's just say this is a little bone joint and then you have another cylinder and this could technically act as your forearm. This is the bicep. But if you wanna make that look more realistic, you can add the shoulder cap. You can have a, an angled cylinder. So let's thin it out near the bottom. Give it that joint down there again. Same thing here. But this time as you're going, because the, the forearm, it has a curve to it, right? You have like your curvature and then it thins out. So you want to kind of keep it thicker up here. Give it a curve a bit. Not, nothing too crazy because it is ultimately a straight bone, but you have to give it that definition. And then you curve in and you thin again. And now that's the same exact thing. And here would have been the, the cylinder top. And then just this sits on the top. It rests on top like a ball. So it's almost like a cone with a ball on top. It's like an ice cream. And then you have your joint, perfect. And then you have your, your forearm. So there's different ways. You need to learn perspective in order to actually add all of this stuff and all these details. And these are different things that I'm doing when I'm drawing. A lot of different stuff to think about and it all takes time to learn, but when you can bring it all together, that's when you really start to get dynamic and like creative characters. This is all a dream we project with the mind. We don't really sleep till we die. We don't really see the divine. Only perceiving what's in our eyes. Our senses are the guide, but we only got five of them. Five of them. So we don't see the whole design. This life is like a ride. We don't know where we're driving though. Know. Sometimes you take a turn down a windy road. You can only see the purpose in the rear view though. Yep. Clearing windows as you reflect. You start to see the bigger picture when you're looking back. But connecting the dots like school kids. You see the purpose. It starts emerging and you keep learning and grow until you're growing old. The more experience you have, the more you know. Until you reach the point at which you lose your dome. And then the spirit floats. Gone so like ghosts. we have this. Oh man, I'll tell you right now, dude, it's been a long time since I've drawn anything from scratch. And what I mean by that is it's been a long time since I came up with a character. Ever since I did uh, these cards here, all these little cards I did and all those characters, I literally, bro, I haven't drawn a new character since that time because I moved and everything and then I just started working straight on music. I did that other painting with the character I had, but I had already made him. So I just had to redraw him. But anyway, this looks really dope. I'm excited. It's still messy, but now it's time to... I'm gonna erase a bunch of the, the messy little things I don't need, and then I'm gonna start adding more detail. So I just wanted to stop and, and mention that. As I'm thinking in this bed, I know that I can manifest my goals, but I must put in work though, aim it to lead like Pharaohs. Ancient souls guide my life, that's why I don't give up when I slip up. Gotta keep on picking up so I get up, the time slows. I was chosen by gods and sages, conversate at the round table. We planned out my placement, everything that I learned on this earth. So now I'm putting in work with shovels, I'm in the dirt. Turning all this hurt to propane Cleaning all these toxic stains Infecting my mind state I leveled up the playing field bitch, Oh my I'm gosh, okay This is, uh, <laughs> this became way more in depth than um, I planned This level of detail is not something I would paint And I'll tell you why There are so many ways that this could go wrong if I was to paint this And I could put myself to the challenge, but even if I did paint it, fitting all of this onto a canvas, oh my God, this would be a huge project. So as much as I was planning to turn whatever I drew here today into the canvas that I do next, I don't think I'm going to do this. 
I might, we'll see how I feel. But anyways, just wanted to pause to say that. I'm gonna now fine line it. It's basically done. This is crazy. This looks so dope. I did not expect this to turn out like this. I was actually really struggling earlier. And then in all these rays till I go to the grave. The crystals in the staff got the poison on blades. I'm coming for the treasure, the Tanzanite scepter, the hand and chalice. I'm building up a Tafite palace. I'm talking gemstones, a couple in my trench coat, a pendant I enchanted with a shield cloak, some ancient emblems. The rings on my fingers, I put some spells on them. The chains on my wrists, they're elemental. They keep me real cold, feel like I'm frozen. This ice on my body, I shine like crystals. Precious mid smokes, got a split throat. I'm smoking till I reach the ozone. This is my ritual, I'm going till it burns my throat. The antidote inside my pouch. When foes quell my energy, I'm pulling it out. And I bounce right back and hit them with another hand and attack. Pull their souls out their mouth, snatch their auras and laugh. I am the one they call the diamond in the rough. Slick like Aladdin, yup, the genie lamp tuck. Tricks up my sleeves like sorcery when I pass ya. Dark like a djinn, too mystical with the mana. Scepter, I grip the stones charged with magma. These herbs I burn, I travel to other lands. I mix up potions and poisons with all this plasma. Lasting effects I'm leaving in this dimension. I am anti-mortal, my energy source is infinite. Came through a portal, I teleported into this skin. DNA infused, so I'm not a human, I'm something more. Wait till you see it, I ain't even reached my final form. I befriend the creatures, the hungry beasts from your darkest dreams. Harness in their will, I unleash them and havoc starts the breach. It's finished. Shit is so fucking dope. I'm not gonna paint it, there's no way. But I will definitely do it in digital art at some point in the future. This is one of my favorite. I think this is probably my favorite piece I've ever drawn. The most highly detailed, the most well proportioned. And not in like an overly detailed way, like I think it's perfect. I think it couldn't have gotten much better than this. So I will show you it now. So here it is. I think this guy came out so dope, dude. Like this is, this is one of the craziest pieces. And it, it kind of, the way he looks, it looks like he's either floating in the sky or he's about to actually do like a spin kick. Like he's about to lift that leg up and just whoop. You know? Anyway, I'm really happy about it. I think it came out great. I'm very pleased, very impressed with myself. As for the rest of the video, I'll do like a tiny little close-up little music-y dope looking thing uh, just to end it off, but that's pretty much it. I hope that I taught you guys something. I hope that you learned something. I hope there was something you took from this. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And if you have any questions, let me know. Drop them in the comments. If you haven't already, please subscribe. That would be dope as well. Lots of stuff coming, lots of music, lots of videos, doing a painting, gonna, do more tutorial things in this style. With each step of the painting, I'm gonna basically do a different video. I have a video I'm already working on that I've started. Uh, I, I got canvases because I didn't have ones that I needed. And I'm going to show you guys how to transfer your drawing off of a paper onto a canvas without using transfer paper the way I do it. Yeah, man, so that's the next video. I don't know, I guess that's it. I always like don't know how to end shit, so I ramble. And I'm not gonna ramble. I gotta learn not to. That's the piece. I had a really good time. Again, I'm I'm really, really happy with it. I can't wait to do this on digital art, man. This is gonna be one of the sickest pieces ever. Cool. Have a good one. Take it easy. We'll see you on the next one. We like I still process. Energy is low, drained out, you're a bitch. Bankrupt, casinos, no chips. You don't need big, cause you ain't working like you mean it. Pure fibs, you got no grit. You've been wasting life like there's no meaning. Real shit, little bitch ass scarecrow, skull full of straws, no thoughts just gone. Really moving dumb wrong, making plays with the wrong drum. Under someone's thumb, ain't no self regulation. Don't know where you come from, lost in your location. Feeling all humbug, miserable life that you lack none. You just can't see what you have, son.